My domain is now the de facto standard for all new orgs since the Winter 21 major release. It is also a requirement for all org migrations, regardless of whether you are moving to Hyperforce or another instance on first party infrastructure. If you have not enabled my domain, it is a good time to do it, as there are also feature dependencies and advantages related to having this enabled. To talk more about it, here's Rama. Hi, my name is Rama, and today I will talk about one of the key steps in Hyperforce Readiness, enabling my domain. Let's first understand what is my domain. My domain effectively creates a subdomain by adding your company or brand name at the start of login URL followed by my.salesforce.com. If my domain is not configured, your login URL for Salesforce would contain a reference to the instance or port where your org resides. Having my domain configured in your org is critical. Let me explain why this is the case. Once your org is migrated from old instance to Hyperforce, the old instance would no longer be valid, thereby preventing your users to access the Salesforce. Imagine the impact if end users are not able to log into Salesforce. There are other benefits of using my domain, such as single URL to remember, a login URL with your company's branding, social sign-on, and most importantly, it allows you to avoid hard-coded URL for API integration. And also, don't forget that it is a prerequisite to enable my domain before creating Lightning components. Now that you know how important it is to enable my domain for Hyperforce migration, let's get into the detail of setting it up. First, verify my domain is not already set up. As a system admin, log into Salesforce and click on the setup menu. In quick find box, type my domain and click on the link shown. If it is not set up already, you will be shown with a three-step guided process. If there is no guided process shown, it means my domain has already been enabled for your org and no action is required. Unless you want to change the my domain name in case there is a company brand name change, etc. We recommend that you do the my domain name changes outside the business hours because changing the domain impacts your end users. Now assuming you need to step through the my domain configuration process either because it hasn't already been set up or renaming is desired, you need to first pick a domain name. To register the domain name, enter the proposed domain name and click on check availability to see if it has already been registered. If the name has already been registered, pick a different one. Click register domain and Salesforce will now provision your my domain. This process usually take few minutes but may take up to 24 hours. You will receive an email when it is ready to be deployed or tested. Once notified, go back to the My Domain page. Any network related issues are shown with the details on what actions are required. But assuming everything is in order, now you have an option to click on Deploy New Domain in order to deploy it. Before you start testing, we recommend that you update all the URL references with the new domain. After you complete the testing, share the new login URL with your end users and encourage them to update their bookmarks. Once your users have adopted the new login URL, we recommend that you update my domain pol redirect policy to the recommended setting. Now I want to share some best practices in relation to my domain. Number one, always test your changes in sandbox first. Number two, make sure that you have change and communication policy in place to inform user about the new login URL changes. Number three, make sure that you do the changes in non-business hours when traffic is low. And that's it. I hope it gives you a good idea about enabling or setting up my domain in your org. If any further assistance is required, please feel free to contact Salesforce customer support. Thank you.